Bienvenidos una vez más a La Cocina de José. Hoy o en esta semana con una receta sumamente especial. ¿De qué se trata? Le explicaré al regreso. Muchas gracias por estar conmigo una semana más, damas y caballeros. Y gracias porque llegamos a los primeros 100, 100 suscriptores. Así que esto es una bendición para mí, para mi familia. Muchas gracias por su apoyo. Siga compartiendo nuestros videos para ver si podemos alcanzar la próxima meta de tener 350 suscriptores. Así es que con la ayuda de ustedes yo sé que lo vamos a poder lograr. La semana pasada estuvimos hablando con Biscochón y habíamos mencionado en esta entrevista de que tuve la oportunidad de ir a Dakota del Sur o South Dakota en inglés para hacer unos estudios, o sea, para culminar mis estudios, mi bachillerato en comunicaciones. Allí tuve la oportunidad de hacer un portfolio o un conjunto de proyectos y uno de estos proyectos fue cocinar y estar frente a las cámaras en el estado de Dakota del Sur, específicamente en la ciudad de Rapid o, o Rapid City. Allí Eric Garner me ayudó a conseguir, a culminar este proyecto. En el programa de hoy vamos a estar presentando lo que es un plato de marisco, una ensalada de marisco con unos avocados. Pero, ¿cuáles son los beneficios del avocado? Veamos el siguiente reportaje. El aguacate pertenece a la familia de los lauráceas formada por plantas leñosas que crecen en climas cálidos y entre las que se incluyen aromáticas como el laurel, alcanfor y la canela. Los españoles la denominaron pera de las indias. Tiene en efecto forma de pera, piel dura y oscura y alberga en su interior una única semilla redonda y de gran tamaño. La pulpa es cremosa de color verde y amarillo pálido con un sabor que recuerda a la avellana. El aguacate está repleto de grasas saludables y atesora un sinfín de beneficios para nuestro organismo. Controlan la presión arterial, por lo que son buenos para el corazón. Mantienen a raya el colesterol. Contienen propiedades antiinflamatorias. Regulan los niveles de azúcar en la sangre. Aumentan la absorción de nutrientes y cuidan de la piel, entre otras propiedades, según el Instituto Americano para la Investigación del Cáncer. El aguacate contiene magnesio y potasio, minerales que favorecen el buen funcionamiento del sistema nervioso y muscular y son de gran importancia para el sistema inmunológico y para la salud del intestino delgado y para evitar la retención de líquidos. Posee vitaminas de los grupos A, C, D, E, K y B. Esto hace que además resulta fundamental para los niveles neurológicos del organismo y para la salud cardiovascular. Gracias a su contenido en vitamina D, es beneficioso para la salud de los huesos. El ser rico en fibra, el aguacate, ayuda al organismo a saciar el apetito, evitar el estreñimiento y regula los niveles de glucosa en la sangre. Y por si fuera poco, el aguacate es rico en ácido oleico, un tipo de ácido graso que ayuda a controlar los niveles de colesterol. También contiene ácido fólico. Bastante recomendado para evitar malformaciones durante el embarazo. Con el aguacate se puede crear ensaladas, salsas y cremas, por ejemplo guacamole, y para dar consistencia a las sopas fría o caliente. El aguacate, gastronomía y ciencia. Ya lo saben, cosa que ni usted ni yo sabíamos, siempre se aprende algo aquí en la cocina de José. Este programa es en inglés. El inglés mío para aquel entonces era pésimo, malo. Así que usted discúlpeme, ¿verdad? Traté de hacer lo mejor posible, como siempre trato de hacerlo. Más sin embargo, ahí está mi compañero Eric Garner que me ayudó en inglés. Voy a explicarle esto en breve en, en inglés. Así que, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to la cocina de José. Please 
make sure to share and uh, press like to this video and thank you for have the first hundred subscriber in my channel I appreciate that it's a blessing for me so today we are going to show a program for you in English and we are going to make the mix a fish with avocado so what is going on with Eric can you help me for this video and this show thank you Eric for that Eric I have here a bunch of flavor again we have fish it's a salad it's a mix of fish fish mm -hmm. mix we have <laughs> shrimp we have octopus we have Ooh. slims we have oh man it's it's a lot of flavor mm -hmm. We have avocado, we have onion, garlic, we have sweet pepper, a different color, mm -hmm. cilantro, like cilantro, cilantro, and you know the fish is very good with limes. Oh yes, okay, nice fresh flavor there. Now you yeah. said cilantro, I see salt, pepper, garlic, and oil. Mojito! <laughs> Right. But I still don't get to drink the mojito. No, no, it's not for a drink. Well, I could, but mm. yeah. <laughs> but the have, the only we don't no have is a white wine. Oh. I don't, I don't, there's some over there, but oh, it's. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. it's I didn't. It's not my white wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to start? Well, we need to start with them. Mojito. Mojito. So, Eric, please. Oh, ah, okay. So with the mojito, we need. You want all three garlic cloves? Uh, Yes, yes. Okay. Do the three. We're yes. going to finally chop the garlic. Be careful. Yeah. Oops. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, I know. I will be. Be careful. I know. I don't want to cut off fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll be okay. I do want to get this. Out. I don't want that part of it. Oh uh, yes. Yeah, that's it's not hard, there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's then interesting. Can... It's interesting. You know when. When the people cook together, mm -hmm. it's, it's a nice, nice uh, it is. time, you know, to enjoy for another people. And that's what a lot, what we're not doing enough of, I think, in this country. We eat out all the time, uh -huh. or we just buy prepared stuff that oh, doesn't involve yeah. cooking. And cooking brings a family together. And you know, mm -hmm. if you bring kids into the kitchen at a young age to learn how to cook, that they eat better, more healthily later in life. Well, in my wife's uh, job, Mm -hmm. So I'm so sorry, Lisa. <laughs> I need to tell <laughs> that they have a uh, job uh, co-workers. Uh -huh. I come from Venezuela. They come from uh, Mexico, Puerto mm -hmm. Rico, a, 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 a lot of country. Mm -hmm. And every month, a uh, one day of uh, each month, mm -hmm. they bring food. Oh, so they wow. bring food from Venezuela, Puerto Rico, Mexico. Oh. Uh, I don't know, Colombia. It's an international food this yeah, day. <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, yeah, Where oh, is yeah. this place? <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to enjoy yeah, it. So, <laughs> I, in the next season, I want you know to bring more people here. Yeah. How much of this lunch would you want uh, to put It's here? a little bit so like this one. Okay. Okay. Of course, you want the leaves, not necessarily the stems. Yes. We don't want the stems. Too much of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, this message is for Julio. Julio, remember the rice. I like that, right? They, they made that. It's a like celery or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. It's a green stuff, but it's hard. Mm -hmm. But they mix with the white rice. Oh, oh man! Yeah. Oh yeah, delicious. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> oh boy, that, I mean a little bit. That's what I should do is just gather all this together, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. And just. Yeah, it's more easy like that way. Yeah. But be careful not to slice my finger. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> mm, probably a little bit more. A little bit. So I repeat, thank you, uh, uh, Chris Gloss, John Peterson, yeah. Eric Gunner. Uh, that, that's a lot of people. He's putting me to work today. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. so you can yep. add here. Yeah, that in there, that's right. Then we need a little bit of salt. I remember, remember, remember that. Yeah, pinch. Oh, that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, a little salt, a little bit of pepper. Pepper. And then olive oil. Olive oil, yes. All right, about that much. Let me see, a little bit more. Yeah, we have. Like that. Uh, for start, yeah. For start, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I take the yep. mortar. 
A mojito! But I can't drink this mojito. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not drink mojito, Eric, today. Yeah. <laughs> How are we looking? Oh, perfect. That's that's great. All that's right. Very great. Very so, good. we are going to cut the sweet pepper in that. I love those sweet peppers. Oh, yes. They come in that little bag. You have to yeah. yeah, I know. Yes. I, I like very much too. So we need to cut in dice. Yes, in dice. But remember the. Do you remember the secret I I teach you to take out the membrane around here first? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's more easy, right? Yeah. So Eric. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, that, yeah. that's, that's sweet it's, pepper. It's, it's kind of small. Yeah, it's hard to do that. But you can do it. You can do it well, more, 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 more easy. Yeah. Yeah. But then yeah, and then you can just. Uh, on the side like that. Mm -hmm. And this sweet pepper don't have many seeds. No. You know no. what is the difference of the limes with uh, seeds and mm -hmm. without seeds? What? Yeah. With, well, with the lime have a seeds inside, it's mm -hmm. natural seeds, uh, natural limes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Without seeds, it's, in your, it's like in, in your engineered. Food. Engineered. Yes, that's right. That's right. Most of the things that we eat are actually just like a banana. Mm -hmm. Really supposed to have seeds in it. That's correct. But it's engineered over there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So be careful, people. When you you want a, a real limes, make sure that seeds is yeah. inside. Can you even get those in the United States? Huh? Limes with seeds in them? Well, in Puerto Rico we have. Oh, okay. Yeah, in Puerto Rico. I don't in know. In Puerto here. Rico. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Our country, because Puerto Rico is yeah. uh, it's a territory of the mm -hmm. United that's States. Right, so. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Do we uh, need to get a smaller dice, or is that okay? Uh, a little bit more smaller. Okay. Yeah. A little smaller. Yeah, because yeah. it's a lot of flavor, so you can put here <coughs> when you finish. Okay. We have a different color today. Yeah, lots it's of color, colors. Color, color, color. Well, it's good because we eat with our eyes, right? <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> All right. An interesting plate today, Yari. Yeah. We have very interesting plate today. It's like a little bit of everything you said. Yes. We would call that like a hodgepodge. Hodgepodge? A hodgepodge of okay. <laughs> this country. Yeah. So is this like a stew in a way? No, we, we, we call the, the fish uh, alajillo. Oh, we okay. We to make alajillo. Okay, alajillo. Alajillo, yes. Alajillo. It's a garlic fish. Okay, garlic In, in English, yeah, it's yeah. a garlic fish. Sounds great to me. Anytime there's garlic anywhere, I love yes. it. <laughs> oh, man, the, the, the garlic is very healthy. Maybe, maybe not dessert, but... <laughs> Well, garlic supposedly helps keep you from getting colds, like upper respiratory stuff. Mm -hmm. And here's a story, if you want me to tell it, uh, about garlic. You know the old tale that garlic keeps the vampires away? You know where that comes from? Where? Yeah. Comes from back in the Black Plague in the Middle Ages in Europe, who killed okay. all those people. The only people that didn't get the plague uh, one of the group that never got the plague was the garlic salesman. Oh, wow. Because they wore the garlic around their mm. necks and would yeah. carry it around. And they thought the magical properties of garlic mm -hmm. actually kept the plague away from those people. Oh, wow. Yeah, for, for the for the smell? Or from the well, this, the chemical properties in garlic is like an elixir. So okay. it's like an antiviral. Oh. Because garlic's really, really good for you. So yeah. that, that's so, what that, yeah. Yeah, you know, people, this is a new one for me. So no yeah. vampires. No. So eat garlic. <laughs> <laughs> so on Halloween, right? You make yeah. sure you eat the garlic, yeah. yeah. Be careful with the vampire in the Halloween. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Go to cut the, the both avocado, Eric. Okay. So we are going to cut mm -hmm. in this part around here. Mm -hmm. around, 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 around. We twist mm -hmm. and take out. Okay. You can trust me to do that? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, I, you know. I know there's a lot said about injuries this time of year, people cutting avocados, but you it's, just have to be very, you just have to be gentle with it. Yeah, and we we prepare everything before to start. Oh, mm -hmm. that's that's nice yeah. to start the the fish mm -hmm. because the fish is more you know the contamination and everything. Right. So I, right. I I prefer you know to prepare everything. Yeah. So I got using the spoon there. Perfect. Yes. And we are going to save the the skin. Right, it's gonna be kind of like a bowl, like the you bowl? said. Yeah, or to hold the thing together. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, very, oh, oh, hey. yeah, very nice. Let's go to start the second one. Eric, you can cut oh, that. Cut this other one here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we are going to. Oh. 
And people, you, you can mm -hmm. do this in, in your home. It's very easy recipe we are going to, to make today. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to, to taste that. Yeah. This one's not quite as ripe as that one. But we'll... Ah. Perfect. Yeah. So, look. This plate, I'm sorry for this avocado, it's, <laughs> it's chueco, it's chueco, yeah. but we have the, the idea. Mm -hmm. The idea is there, yeah, yes. The idea is here. So let's go to cut the fish. And Eric, okay. in the fish, mm -hmm. all this is fish, so, and this is clean too. Mm -hmm. Let's go to take, oh, to take that yeah. old fish. Oh, lots of good stuff in there, look at all that stuff. Yes. Woo. And color, and this part is uh, tricky because we need to do the but one by one to Ooh. cut them more. Yes. They it's, have to be in smaller bites then. That's because, yeah, because they are going inside, oh. you know, on the top of the whole Is that this. squid? Ah, yes. Calamari. Ah. Yeah. It's a little bit of everything. I don't know, you know. But I like the fish. Oh. Yeah, lots oh, of I, stuff. I, I come from, from, well, that from the fish. island, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I think in Puerto Rico, lots of fish is eaten. <laughs> oh, yes. Fried fish, mm -hmm. uh, garlic fish, uh, stuffed fish, mm -hmm. uh, soup fish. <laughs> Yeah, well, we had so many good fish with the last recipes. We had the bajaito. Oh, oh used man. the, the codfish. Oh, yeah. Codfish. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful the shrimp so. of the monfongo. <laughs> yeah. That's correct. Uh, we yeah. have octopus. That, now, many people, how you call the, the, octopus, the octopus who have tentacles? The tentacles. And also little suction cups. Suction cups. Yes. Yeah. Many people take uh, the suction cups outside, mm. but I like it, you know. Yeah. The texture is, is, is Well, that's like, so small. I mean, that's be a lot of hard work to get those little suction cups out of there. Yeah. yeah. So, Eric, <laughs> we, have, we have ready all fish ready yes, cups. Yes, lots of stuff in there, everything. So, let's go to uh, add uh, salt. salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do it for me. Okay. And you make salt, uh, we need to mix with that a little bit. Okay. I'm going to cut and dice the onion. Okay. The cardboard is, re is ready. In the bread, we clean the, the mm -hmm. cardboard. Yeah. All right, does it need any pepper? Ready? Yeah, pepper, we need... Uh, parsley? Parsley, a little bit of oil. In here? Yes. Okay. We are going to use a oil, a, a poncho. Mm. Yeah. Bunch of oil. Yeah. <laughs> Love that oil. You be very careful of what uh, olive oil you use too. Oh, well, some olive oil is fake. Yeah, I, where I saw that. Yeah, uh, really scary. Yeah, they, they use uh, safflower oil. So it's a scheme. So not wow. good. Oh well. Well, it's a big company. Lots of standard brands they think are fake olive oil. It's mostly safflower or sunflower oil or safflower oil, not actually true olive oil. One thing is you always are guaranteed to get good olive oil from California, Napa Valley. Okay. Those areas, uh, you Paso Robles. And uh, Spain also has probably some of the best olive oil in the world. Yes. In Spain. fact, my favorite olive oil of all time is from Spain, uh, Nunes de Prada. Very high end, very nice olive oil. Okay. So, I even went to an olive oil place in Spain and saw the process, very interesting. They take big, they take real care of their olive oil over there too. So this part is, is every you did, part. See, so you I did that very well. See, you were faster <laughs> than I did. <laughs> yeah. So, Eric, let's go to the stove. Yeah, let's go to the stove. Eric, first one, we are going to add butter. Butter, yeah. Yeah. It's a scissor, right? Mm hmm. About a tablespoon? Yeah. And can you bring the mojito, Eric, mm -hmm. very quickly? Uh, the mojito, I can certainly bring the mojito. Yeah. I didn't even drink it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try it. <laughs> no. So we can use the same spoon right here. Okay. It's a little bit of mojito. Here we go. Mm, mojito. Okay. okay. We are going to mix here. All right. Okay. And, and after that, we are going to add onion. Onions. Mm hmm. Look at that. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Yep. Ah. 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 <laughs> and now, Eric, can you bring the, the seafood? Pizza? Yes. Oh, sir. yes. Pour all in there? All of them. All of them. 
Mm -mm. Wow. Wow. That's great. Mm. So at this point, Eric, mm. we are going to add the oil. Mm -hmm. More olive oil. With a... oh, looks wonderful. And eventually all this is going to go in the avocado. That's correct. Oh, I love it. Uh, yeah, and now we are going to put this in low. All right, beautiful. Now, how long do you want to cook that? It's about 20 minutes. Okay. Because it, it, that, that kind of uh, seafood is pre-cooked. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's to make sure that they take the, the flavor of the onion and everything. Okay. Yes. So, and after that, oh, we are going to add yeah, the peppers. The peppers. And more onion. More onions, yeah, to make color. The people. Missy, don't, 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 wake up, wake up. He's sleeping over there, Let's wake up. <laughs> Look at this Beautiful, color, I love the colors. Yes. Bright colors, lots of flavor. All of the Puerto Rican dishes we've done have been like that. <laughs> and we are going to leave this okay. right here. Let's go to work with the avocado. In okay. the avocado, we are going to add a sauce mm -hmm. in each avocado. Okay. Please, Eric. In each, in each avocado, inside. Yeah, here. yeah, inside and so, yeah. Okay, all right. Something Very like good. That. Yeah. All right. Pepper. Salt, so. pepper. We are going to add parsley. Okay. A little bit of parsley. Mm hmm Very nice. Now, we are going to spread out, but we got a reason on here. Oh, drizzle some olive oil on that. All right. Yes. Well, obviously, you like your olive oil, which I like to see. I, I, <laughs> I love that. It's my favorite, too. Mm -hmm. that. Very nice. Okay. There we go. And you can, you know, spread out. Mm-hmm. The side. For presentation, the, yeah. yeah. That's right. So, uh, you know how many restaurants do this show? Right now? How many? I don't know. <laughs> a lot. A lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Don't copy paste. Don't copy paste. Don't do it. Okay, Harry, we have the avocado is mm -hmm. already looked at that uh, plate. We have the fish cooking. That's right. It's ready cooking. It's almost ready. It's almost ready. Let's go. We need every limes. Yes, you talked about the limes. Yes, let's go to add the limes. Okay. So these are the limes without the seeds, obviously. Yes. Mm -hmm. In the without seeds. Mm -hmm. So what we do with those limes? We are going to oh, just squirt some. Is that little bit here? Mm -hmm. And now a little bit over there. Mm. Very nice. And Eric, go the line here. This is way for ah. Yeah, let's go to that line mm. here. Good yeah. presentation, yeah. Yes. Look at that. So, Eric, we're ready to go. We got the lime. We got the avocados. The avocado is ready with what we have. First one, we cut the avocado in half, mm -hmm. right? Twist and separate. Mm -hmm. Take the skin out and take the avocado out of the. Skin, yeah, right? Yeah, then we put it back in the skin. Right. Cut the skin <laughs> in the half, put it back to make that sure the avocado is not twist. Mm -hmm. So we have cut onions, sweet pepper, different colors, mm -hmm. and a fish mix. That's right. And the fish mix brings the <laughs> octopus, slim, calamari. Calamari. Yeah. Uh, yeah, lots of stuff. Uh, yeah, see. So we cut everything mm -hmm. and then we make that mojito. Mm -hmm. And Eric is expert. You yeah, expert mojito, to make that mojito, right. Eric. It's a garlic and olive oil, salt, pepper, and cilantro. That's good. And you use a mortar and pestle and you grind it all together. And, that, and that's but it. But you don't drink this mojito. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> no don't, don't do it. 
Yeah, I've been trying to drink a mojito all month. Uh -huh. and I still have not. I, he has not made me a mojito to drink. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> so for the fish, we already uh, made the, the in the fry pan. Mm -hmm. We put a little bit of butter, mm -hmm. mojito, onions, mm -hmm. lime juice, lime juice, yeah. and make the put in the fish and then with olive oil. And you cooked it about 20 minutes. It's a yeah. 20, 25 minutes. Sure. It's a pre cook so okay. it's more easy for. for so that fish for is going to go on top of these avocados oh, here. Oh yeah, let's go to do let's it do right it. now. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Yes. So Eric, this is the, the oh. fish uh, we already oh, have. Oh, look at that. Beautiful so, colors and everything. Let's go, let's go to around here because the camera needs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it smells wonderful. Smell, smell that, Eric. Oh yeah. So let's go to add the fish around here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Very nice. And you say you eat a lot of avocados in Puerto Rico. Yes. Yeah, yes. that's one of my favorite things too. Yeah, I like I like the avocado. In Puerto Rico, one avocado. Woo! <laughs> oh, look at all of that. Look at the colors, the flavors. <gasps> Wonderful. Wow. So don't worry, don't rush if you have some fish around the plate. So it doesn't make any difference, yeah. Yeah, so let's go to put it in the middle one. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's go to save this one. Oh boy! Later. At this point, let's go to add our limes. Mm-hmm. Maybe more. A little more juice. lime juice, yeah. Yes. Boy, oh, look at the colors. Very, more of the pepper. Let's go to add the pepper around here. About two for each one. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Loose pepper. Yes. <laughs> around here. Here we go. A little more parsley. Let's go to add a ah, little bit of mojito. mojito. Yeah. Mojito again, mojito. Eric. A little mojito. Mm. Oh. oh my God. Mm. You sure you don't want this plate in Cora TV? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And now for the final, let's go to a add parsley. a little bit of cilantro. Oh, that's cilantro. Yeah, that's cilantro. What am I saying parsley for? Cilantro here. Very nice. And Eric, is that done? Is that is, ready to go? We're ready to go, oh, Eric. Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. Beautiful, the gorgeous colors, the flavor. Oh, wow, wow, Eric. that's amazing. Not yes. really all that difficult to make either. No, it's very, very easy. Mm -hmm. It's simple, easy, and delicious. And delicious, and good for you too, mostly. Oh yes, it's very, <laughs> very good for us. For us and, and everything else. That's right. <laughs> Uh, there you go. <laughs> so uh, I I'm, I'm hope that all people are so mm -hmm. us right now enjoy this uh, plate mm -hmm. and the way to do it is very easy for you. So thank you, Eric. You bet. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Sumamente fácil este plato, damas y caballeros, con un plato sencillo de mixto de distinto de distintos pescados, no crustáceo también. Tenemos allí lo que es pulpo, camarones, king crab y otros adicionales lo que cocinamos le agregamos un poco de lo que es mantequilla a nuestro sartén agregamos todo lo que es nuestro pescado un poco de aceite ajo pimiento amarillo y anaranjado cebolla pero usted puede agregarle todo lo que usted entienda agregarle hasta tomate se le puede agregar una vez entonces agregado todo y culminado se lo en los abogados lo picamos por la mitad y, eh, pusimos, eh, sacamos el abocado de la cáscara, de la cáscara, picamos la cáscara a mitad para crear así una base para que el abocado no se tambalee y se quede firme. Agregamos todo lo que es nuestro pescado por encima del abocado y le agregamos entonces lo que es nuestro mojito. Ya mojito es, un, es una mezcla de aceite, vinagre, ajo y cilantro. Y le agregamos también un poco de cilantro con un poco de pues, banana pepe para crear entonces así lo que es el sabor y la decoración de nuestro plato y un poquito de limón por encimita y el producto final es lo que estamos viendo en estos momentos en pantalla thank you very i always i will be grateful for your help and, and for the opportunity to give me to cook with you in your segment on coda tv on noon show so i appreciate that thank you for that opportunity Thank you for, for, for being part of this project. So, gracias a Eric Garner por, por darme la oportunidad de complementar mi proyecto. Y siempre estaré 
eh, agradecido por toda la ayuda que me has ofrecido y espero poder volver a cocinar junto a ti nuevamente. Así que dicho esto y dicho de paso, muchas gracias por estar una vez más conmigo aquí en La Cocina José. La semana que viene tenemos un invitado especial, no se lo pueden perder. Denle like y compartan mi canal y suscríbase a La Cocina de José. Suscríbase a La Cocina de José y me pueden escribir a JR Morales, mírenlo por aquí, arroba la cocina de José punto com, JR Morales, arroba la cocina de José punto com. Nos vemos la próxima semana con una receta sumamente especial, invitado especial, si así el divino creador lo permite. Que Dios me lo bendiga. Hasta la próxima.